I'm standing at this intersection in Watermill at Hay Ground and Scuttle Hole Road. This spot was the focus of a big battle that happened between LIPA and the community at large. About a year ago in September 2007, the Long Island Power Authority came to the town of Southampton, which represents most of the South Fork, with a plan to have the cables running from the Southampton substation to the Bridgehampton substation. And their plan that they presented was an entirely above ground version of a, a corridor of transmission lines. Maybe it's the easiest, fastest way to get as much power as possible to the people, but the plans that they presented us with were unacceptable. We're talking about poles that are this big in diameter, that are 51 to 60 feet tall. That's certainly 50% taller than the average telephone pole in anyone else's backyard or on the street. And uh, this is so wide as to be ridiculous for someone to have to have either in front of a house or alongside a hurricane escape route. You can call it a pole, but when you're 51 to 60 feet tall and you're this big in diameter, you're a tower. The uh, transmission line should be buried uh, for a lot of reasons that many have spoken to. The, the issue of um, evacuation routes, uh, the issue of uh, open space and vista protection. Uh, but at the same time, we need to ask ourselves why we need a, uh, a line to begin with and what steps do we need to take, all of us, including LIPA, to diminish the demand that uh, at this point seems to require uh, a line. If things continue the way they are, then they're going to want uh, more lines. And, and again, what are we doing to limit the use and incentivize conservation? I think what we're seeing is a very good sentiment, is the people are fiercely protective uh, of this place, and that's good. It's part of a much bigger issue, which is our unrestrained development. So I think that the aroused community should as well turn its attention to that problem, because that problem just means we're going to be back having this discussion again. My name is Antonia Salm, and I have grown up here in Southampton my whole life. It's home for me. It's a, an incredibly special place. I love the marshlands and the water and the, and the ocean and the natural beauty of it, which of course in the last, you know, 10 years or so has slowly been disappearing, actually quite rapidly in some places, which is very, very difficult for those of us who actually grew up here and who've, you know, who've always lived here. A lot of families here were in the, in the farming business. That was the main agricultural uh, market out here back in the early 1900s. Everywhere that you looked was nothing but farms across. And then the real estate market started to boom in the 70s and 80s and 90s, and we know what's happened today. The farmland is a, a, an integral part of living in the Hamptons. This is one of the reasons we come out here and, and, and buy a place and live out here for these vistas in the farmland, which we hope to maintain and keep. The main objective, as far as I'm concerned, is maintaining the integrity of the area, which keeps the prices of properties um, high, which this is what I do. And if the power lines were to come in, and it, it basically is the scourge on the property, and it ruins the property values of the residents that are out here and potential residents that will come out here. We're talking about taking on a power company here. This is not a little, this is not a little fight. This is, uh, this is a big fight. And uh, I think it will definitely draw a line in the sand that the East End is going to do what it takes to preserve what we have here now, what we have left here now. I became an opponent. I mean, I literally dropped everything and thought, there's no way that I'm going to let this happen. And when I say opponent, um, it's, it's a lot of what I was doing was trying to communicate with people. I think 
you know, when there's when there's a disagreement or, or communication issues between two or, or, or more parties, a lot of it has to do with communication. They have created animosity with the people, the residents of this community out here. And I think it'll be a long time before that animosity goes away. And I think they've only done themselves a disservice. A lot of the uh the distrust and a lot of the cynicism that people have about that utility going back in time to when it was Lilco and there was the Shoreham nuclear plant and all these things. Um, the current leadership has an opportunity to wipe that slate clean, but it will be judged very harshly if it doesn't start responding to the community in a way that the community wishes to be responded to. LIPA is the electric utility for Long Island. It was created in 1988, first to close and decommission the Shoreham nuclear power plant, on behalf of the state, and then in 1998 to take over the Long Island Lighting Company. We are not for profit. We operate under the public authorities law. We do have a shareholder. It's the state of New York, or if you prefer 18 million shareholders, the people of the state of New York. Maybe LIPA didn't quite understand that some of us are really trying to say, please work with us. You know, I'm a civilian. I'm, I'm somebody who feels very strongly about this cause. And I thought it would be great to be able to, to have a, a program which would show as many sides as possible. Um, the sides of, of some of the people, the sides of the environmentalists who have fought so hard uh, to, to keep all of this beautiful for us out here. Um, and also what, what LIPA would have to say about it. I organized to interview the chairman of LIPA, Jim LaRocca, who is one of our, our residents out here in the East End. He lives in Sag Harbor with his family. Most people had told me what a congenial and, and nice man he was. How long have you been living here? About full-time, about seven years. Okay, so you know it well. I've been coming here all my life. I was really excited about having the opportunity to interview him because I felt that as somebody who, you know, who lives out here, who knows about the beauty out here, can certainly appreciate that and would be hopefully somebody that might have an open ear to the people and a little bit more of an you know, unbiased view than maybe some of the members of LIPA who don't live out here or who, who never come out here. Personally, you must feel quite torn because this is, this is your community. This is, um, you're raising your family here. I mean, is this, is this something that you've found difficult? Actually, no. And I haven't felt torn because the answer to the community from the moment this issue arose has been yes. We will uh, meet the community's request to bury these lines. The public will has been expressed to the town board so that it exists there, either in the form of a town putting forward a tax increase for a special tax assessment district, or for, as it more likely will be, a capital improvement surcharge on LIPA bills, which will be in accord with consumption. We have wanted to say yes. Um, that's the easy part. The hard part was figuring out how to pay for it. And I think most of the dispute that has gone forward with the community and with the elected officials on the East End has been about who pays and how do we pay. Well, we're here today at Southampton Town Hall. It's a very exciting evening because the town board is going to be uh, voting on a visual benefit assessment, which would hopefully, over the next 20 years, provide for the burying of these of the, of the LIPA cables, of the transmission line. This is really about the sense of community and the whole East End. I think that we all understand this is a special place that needs to be protected. What we would lose in the sense of our community and the beauty that we all, you know, know and love about the Hamptons, uh, we'd never be able to replace that. The town boardroom is overflowing. There are a lot of people. There's supporters and, uh, and people with, with some worries as well. This is exactly what life will want from the beginning. The resolution is adopted. Well, we have a verdict. The town board of Southampton unanimously voted to pass the visual benefit assessment surcharge, which will 
be um, over a period of 20 years, um, which will go to to uh, recoup the the eight million that uh, the Long Island Power Authority said that they would need to bury the transmission cables. We will not stand for large transmission lines above ground only buried. Yes, it will cost money, but it's money that people have said they'll put that money where their mouth is, and they said they will pay this surcharge that LIPA intends to move forward and place on the electric bills. The way it's been presented by the town board makes a lot of sense. There is no perfect solution here, but you have a, a capital improvement surcharge, which they call a visual benefit surcharge at LIPA because they frankly haven't been too much in favor of this, but maybe they'll see the light now, is something which uh, is based upon consumption so that larger houses and larger consumers will pay more. People who, are, who don't like the fact that there's been so much development with McMansions out here, well those people will pay a much higher tariff than the rest of the people. If you have a smaller house than average, they'll pay less. So this is a common sense solution. It's a win-win. It's a win for the town. It's a win for LIPA. By their own admission, they're getting a better system and we're going to pay them for it. Right now, as you can see, there's a bit of a traffic jam here because uh, LIPA is burying the cables, but a number of people here don't seem to mind the inconvenience at all. It's worth the inconvenience to have them bury the lines. Oh. What a good idea to bury the lines. You know, I, I will wait an hour if they bury these lines. I'm happy to wait as long as we don't have, you know, disruptive poles ruining our scenic views. And I'm happy at least LIPA had the uh, sense to listen to the uh, local residents and uh, do the right thing. All that remains now is for LIPA's trustees to approve the deal that's been made between LIPA management and the town board. And they will vote on this in September, October. We're going to have chartered jitneys from out here and from New York and ask everyone who can please go to help us impress upon LIPA's trustees that we want to be paying for this with a surcharge on consumption as described in the deal. So everyone out here will pay according to how much electricity they use and we will no longer have to worry about an escape route being impaired or endangered and we will also have preserved these scenic vistas for all time which is very important to this area to save the whole character of the back roads of the Hamptons.